right guys so day number two I guess uh, not really day number two gig number two at the same location uh, but this one is gonna be a much much larger production still not larger than what we've actually done but still sort of mid-size I guess for us now what we're used to um, so but same location um, we're gonna be using half of what we used on the last a gig log that you guys see and this is the next day separate gig log because it's a separate gig essentially uh, so I'll uh, walk you through our site and we're just approaching it on the left hand side right now we've already got vendors up there so I'll give you guys an update in just a second all right just to show you a little bit more of the venue here so we've got a cocktail area to the right cocktail area to the left and then a really nice bar situated right in the center where usually there's the sweetheart table but this has turned out really nice actually I was expecting the bar from talking to the client about the design to wrap around a little bit more to the left and the right but this should this should do it should do the trick um, so we'll see how that goes but yeah loving the table layout and once we get all the screens and everything up you'll see it so this is where we're currently at and from this point I'll be switching to a transition right about now to show you where we are for this event all right guys so this is our final look a few final touches as we always do but we're running pretty good for time and take a bit of effort to get ready but apart from that we're set we're ready to go so we've got our led lights one two rounds and we've got one and two right here one of them went faulty when we had the uh had the rain and uh, one of them went bad so we're getting up there and just switching that out at the moment once that's done we are sound checked and also we have got a reverse polarity on the base and forward on the front so our base curve if you guys don't know about that go to qsc's website have a look up what they recommend we do with that but creates an absolute difference of bass like you can feel it through your chest just with you know there's two two eighteens type of thing on each side. You'll feel it in your chest, good and proper. This event that we're doing is around 500 guests, and the decor team did an absolutely stunning job. I really love this layout. This looks really really nice. Um, we've got the bar situated right at the back over there, and we just cover up the dance floor just to protect it when we're rolling our equipment in and out. And the bride and groom sweetheart table is right there. Um, what we've also got going on is, per request of the groom, um, there's a few famous singers, uh, classical singers, which we, the bride and the groom, both requested for me to do a set, and on each set of that happening, we're going to be playing the images of those famous singers on the back. So really, really looking forward to that. That's going to be pretty epic. And we're just running, my graphics guy Randy is just running through um, the final stages of uh, setting the ratios and uh, color uh, retention and all that good stuff. So that's where we're at. Also, forgot to mention, we've got the club cannons uh, one and two somewhere over here. I can't see because it's uh, my son, the sun's just blinding me in my eyes at the moment. But that's where we are and I'll be up there center stage so i'm going to try and capture as much as i can but this one's going to be super difficult just because we've just got so much going on um but of course i will try my best to capture as much as i can <laughs> 